James Calm to get on the bike. Welcome you all back for another half ass production. And today we've got a special exclusive preview. We're gonna pop up to the studio of Peter Haley and look at new paintings. been too long ago that I would have never been invited to a an exclusive preview like this and uh, wow this is beautiful look at this we get a nice Hudson River view looking out over Chelsea we're gonna pan around this so you people can get an opportunity to see what a real professional artist studio looks like Gotta keep all your records and catalogs. Oh, oh, there's the artist right there. And we have some interested collectors. Now, this is a preview of paintings that Peter's done that are going to be going to Germany. And I also understand that uh, they're showing a 40 foot long digital print. Oh boy. I love buckets of paint. We've got to have our masking tape stash here. Well, I started seeing the work of Peter Haley probably back in the early mid 80s. Wow. And uh, it was uh, kind of one of the people that uh, was the counteraction to the new expressionism that was happening in the East Village at the time. Over here, take a quick look at, I don't know, are these studies? Look like drawings, all right. Well, if there's one thing that I have enjoyed about uh, Peter's work was that uh, he definitely goes in for the uh, high intensity colors. This is interesting. So here's the drawing. And then here is the painted version. And I just talked to the studio manager. She said at this point the pieces are all untitled. I would say this piece is at least uh, maybe six by six and a half foot. And uh, although these do have a very kind of a pristine surface on them, he's using uh, pretty thick slabs of paint, and then he's got this, this textural stuff that he achieves with some kind of uh, this polymer and grit. So he's playing off a very kind of flat matte surface with also this kind of very textural sections. Oh, here are some photos of uh, some of his work where he's uh, actually extended this out into uh, building installations and uh, painting environments for the pieces.
everybody should have one of these in their studio. And like a little Hellenistic sculpture around to uh, provide you with a little inspiration. Well, I was uh, Googling a little bit about Peter today and was looking at some of his writings. You know, he was also a an educator. I think he's been uh, director of the graduates painting and printmaking department at Yale for the last several years. But uh, he was talking about how <laughs> these paintings are actually metaphors for social flows and the flow of capital in consumer societies. Maybe we'll see if we can catch him and ask him about that. Really uh, interesting pair of smaller paintings. Now, Peter has been working up at Yale for years now and um, you know Yale is also the place where Joseph Albers was the head of the art department for years and years and in certain ways these pieces kind of relate to the uh, geometrical abstraction of Albers and his color studies except this is this is really doing it with electric colors I think one of the other great things that Peter has done is that he has he has started using this fluorescent color things that are so brilliant and this was really unheard of in the early 80s but he's he's made it work and in certain ways this kind of relates to the kind of electric color that you might see on a computer monitor no, and I also uh, I've just noticed that uh, an echo of Frank Stella here in that uh, the thickness of those stretchers and a lot of the lines that he's using outlining his geometric forms are the same thickness and that was a uh, device that Stella used for the first 10 or 12 years of his career. It's kind of a uh, interesting development I haven't seen this before it's the, uh, the metallic surfaces that he's added. So I've got a kind of a purple tint to this silver. Seems like silver is the fashionable color this season. Oh, this is almost more like pewter. Got some kind of, uh, kind of lacquered, uh, almost like a uh, candy color there in the blue. Well, so I tried to snag Peter, but he's a little bashful and a little tired. He says he's been here working the crowd for two hours. Well, this is James Com reporting on new paintings by Peter Haley here in Chelsea. Thanks, Kate.